Okay, so this is my bookshelf. This is actually my favorite part of the room and my friend slash interior designer slash architect custom made this one especially for me because I really wanted a really big shelf to hold most of my books. Not just my books but also the books that I collect, the books that I read and eventually I'll add more display items in the coming future. So I'll show you some of my already filled up shelves. So this one is like a personal shelf, like it's a self-care genre if there's such thing. So this, these are the books that are important to me, magazines and also publications that I like reading often if I need a little encouragement and a little self-help. I also have a fiction corner which was immediately filled up because I have a lot of fiction books from Harry Potter to YA fiction and I also have yeah I have a lot of YA so I love John I also have little details that I add on each corner. This one is my creative corner. So this is mostly art books and some books that I've been part of like scripted. I have my work there. I also have my work here in this hand lettering handbook. This one is one of my oldest creative books. I really love this book. It's called The Creative License. It's a good self-help book if you're suffering from creative block. I also have this one which I recently acquired. It's by Stephen King. It's called On Writing and it's very insightful for aspiring writers. So I also have this set of postcards. It's from Pantone which I really love. This was from my good friend Coco. So it has a lot of colors which I use for flat lace and basically for color plotting. And then I also have some of my favorite books here like this really handy pocket book by Adam Kurtz. Things are what you make of them. And this one is one of my oldest calligraphy books. I got it 10 years ago from a good friend. Thanks Peter for my book. It's really really small but it's very very handy. So this is my travel corner. So this tin can here, it's from my friend Tippi. She gave this to me because it reminded me of her and so I put all of my postcards there. Postcards mostly I've received and then I have a little coin bank here and this big Ben which I bought in London. And then I have different books on travel from Illustration, so this is my favorite travel journaling book, to a lot of like visual guides. This one is pretty cool. And I also have this one, Humans of New York. It's from my good friend and manager, Tracy. And I mostly have a lot of books about architecture and specific countries that I like, like and places like New York. And I also have magazines on travel. So this one is one of my favorites. It's called Upper Case. So I buy specific issues if I like the title and what the contents are. So this is my Beatles corner, art corner. So I really love the Beatles. So this is why I renamed my name, my name spelling to Abbey Road. Abbey is because of Abbey Road. I also like collecting a lot of post office things. And I have three art books. This is on the MoMA, Louvre Museum, and Van Gogh. So, Sunflower. Here at the bottom is actually a compilation of some of my journals. These are travel journals which I've used for several trips and I also have some of my daily journals here. I also have this really really cute milky can that I got from Japan because it's so cute. And also my travel journal is here and I'm gonna show you something really funny. This is a box which is actually very rusty already. It's called Gail's Box and inside has a lot of letters and Welcome to Gail's world. So I wrote this when I was in grade 5. Oh, there are also little notebooks inside and different stuff. So I don't know. It's my innocent self writing all these things. So this is like a exhibition corner. I do a lot of my products. They're printed somewhere or up for mass production or anything similar to that. So I designed this paper camera for paper shoot, so it's travel related. I also designed this dry bag from Sandbar Adventures. I also have my trophy here from Orly because they awarded me for being an extraordinary woman. Recently, just 2018. And I also have my Nesty pictures which I designed for Nesty. I think this was two years ago. 
So this little corner here near the window is actually a work in progress shelf. But I do collect a lot of coffee cups. So this was from the local coffee roasters in Osaka. This one is from Saturdays NYC in Osaka also. This one is from Brooklyn Roasting Company also in Osaka. And this one is from Mr. Holmes Bakehouse in Seoul. So for the lower parts of my shelves, since this is my temporary warehouse of sorts, I, ha I put some of my merch here. So yeah, my travel journal. I'm taking some orders and doing international shipping in the next few days. So I'm trying to sort out all my things from notebooks to merch like button pins and animal pins. Here on the right is actually my display shelf of books that I've written. So I've written five books, but one of my recent titles, Hand Lettering A to Z, has actually been translated into nine languages. So there are a lot of foreign language books here, and they're all in different bindings and different colors, so it's really cool. I also have my lettering book translated to Spanish. Also my journaling book. So here are some of the international versions. I also have my books translated in Indonesian. So here are some of them. It's by Haru Penrovich. So for more books and journals and tote bags and other things, they're all here in this corner. Also here on the right side. So this is my arts and crafts trolley. I store a lot of my pens here. Since they are a lot, I decided to segregate them per category for like pens I use for journaling to pencils. I also have some utility tools here. And my fine liner pens have their own separate containers and big markers. I also have some of my notebooks here and pads that I use. So sometimes when I feel like I just want to paint for therapy, I paint on my friend and cousin Valerie's watercolor pad. It's called Bloom. I have my practice notebook here. I also have some drafts here that I haven't finished working on. I also have my talks notebook here on standby. This one which I'm so, I don't want to use yet. It's, it's a Vincent van Gogh notepad. This was from my mom. She got it for me at the Met Museum in New York. I have my Polaroid corner, Instax corner, and I have a set of text liners. So I use all of these because I need to highlight stuff and do stuff for build journaling. So this is from Faber Castle Philippines. I also love writing small notes and letters. So I have this set of cards that I got from New York, I think from Walmart. And then I love Pekka Chan, so she's here. I have a lot of like little tin cans. It either put stickers, pins, clips, or any tiny thing that needs to be sorted out. I have this jar of wooden clips. Like I use it a lot for my plant lace. So I also have a syringe. But this one is for fountain pen inks. I also have small paint brushes, compass, and basically this feels like a bookstore because I have all sorts of pens here on the first row. So I collect a lot of magnets, most of them given by my friends, and mostly I always get one, at least every time I travel. But this is one of my favorites. This is from the MoMA. It's Andy Warhol's Campbell Soup Can. I also have this one from my friend Ishi, it's from the New Yorker. And this is my favorite part of New York, the Grand Central Terminal. I also have different ones I got from Budapest. My friends gave me from London. And I also got this from Busan. So I try to collect as many as I can. It's mostly because I like seeing them. And I like seeing them displayed like this. Second layer of my trolley is mostly for watercolor work. So I usually have on-hand paint that I use regularly. So. This one is one of them. It's actually kind of messy, but it's very overused. It's my Faber-Castell watercolor set. I also have this gouache set from Carandash, which I use a lot as well. But I think I recently just cleaned it. So, here. It's a more solid color payoff as a watercolor set. My color pencils here, also from Faber-Castell. My palette. And some of the pads that I am currently using arches. Also, since I mentioned I collect a lot of tin cans, I purposely bought this in the airport in Budapest because I really love the can and the color and the typography. So it's like a set of biscuits. So this one stores all of my gouache paint. 
So gouache is something that I'm still exploring, but I really like how it's very different from watercolor. I have this little tin here containing my brushes. Like this one is my regular brush. To do if I need to do watercolor, I have a specific brush for that, especially for lettering or illustration. So for my third layer on my trolley, I have these panels. These are actually what I use for flat lays for my photos. I also have this bucket of pens that I brought over from my previous HQ. I still have to sort them, but mostly here, all of these are working. I have a sticker container here. Stickers and stamps. So this is my favorite. I love weavers. And then I also have this bandeau. Cute sticker pack, which is almost finished. And then I have stamps. They're very vintage and very cute for traveling. I also have this little container for my stamps. I try to make sure everything is here so that they have like a safe place. And so I have a lot of clear stamps. And then I also have this really, really cute and sacred Kate Spade stamp set from National Bookstore. So it's from Kate Spade. I really love Kate Spade. I also have some stickers here. Mm -hmm. 